Hello, today we are going to talk about triangles. We are going to show you all the different types of triangles, how to name them, and their main characteristics. We are going to classify them according to their sides and according to their angles too. So to start off, a triangle is a closed polygon with three sides and three angles. One very important property of every triangle is that it has three angles always add up to 180 degrees. Here you can see in the animation if you place the three angles of the triangle together they form a straight line or an angle of 180 degrees. So now we are going to classify the triangles according to their sides. The first one is called an equilateral triangle which name is self-explanatory as the three sides are equal and also the three angles are equal. Therefore, the three angles are 60 degrees because the three angles add up to 180 degrees, the important property that we mentioned before. Okay, the next triangle according to their sides is called the isosceles triangle. This triangle has only two equal sides, B and C, and two equal angles, B and C also. The third angle A is always located opposite the only unequal side, which happens to always be located on the perpendicular bisector of this unequal side, as can be seen here in this animation. So to continue, the last type of triangle named according to its sides is the scalene triangle, which has three unequal sides and therefore three different angles. So now we are going to classify the triangles according to their angles. So this scalene triangle classified according to its angles is called an acute triangle because its three internal angles are less than 90 degrees, as can be seen here on the screen. So if the triangle contains one 90 degree angle, we call this special type of triangle a right angled triangle or a right triangle. In this type of triangle, the shorter sides B and C are called the sides or the legs, and the longer side A, which is always opposite the right angle A, is called the hypotenuse. So in this type of triangle, it always satisfies a very important theorem called Pythagoras' theorem, which states the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, or more simply put, a squared is equal to B squared plus C squared, where A is always the hypotenuse and B and C are the other two sides or the other two legs. So now I want you to remind you the importance of how we call the vertices of or the sides of a triangle. The angles, we always use uppercase letters and their corresponding sides, which are always opposite, we use the same letter in lower case. We will continue the classification according to its angles. So the next type of triangle is called an obtuse triangle, which means one of the three angles, in this case A, is greater than 90 degrees. So to resume, today we have learned how to classify triangles according to their sides and according to their angles. We have also learned the standard international nomenclature or how we represent the sides and the angles of a triangle. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you.